Okay, so I wanted to spend uh, just a few moments um, talking about the differences between the UCC and the CISG. The UCC is, of course, the Uniform Commercial Code. The CISG is the Convention for the International Sale of Goods, which is a treaty uh, that was published by the United Nations and, of course, which the United States is a signatory uh, member. All right. Uh, so let's talk about the mirror image rule. All right. So the mirror image rule, uh, you may recall from 2080, is um, and and the restatement or common law, which was that additional terms in the acceptance make it not an acceptance but a counteroffer. The UCC modified that rule, right, which uh, new terms became part of the contract unless otherwise objected to, all right? That's the UCC rule. In application, um, and there's a long wind-up for this, but uh, in application, the CISG works back to the mirror image rule. Um, it does not allow for any material modification of the terms in an acceptance um, and a material modification really is most any modification so in application uh, the CISG does in fact employ the mirror image rule irrevocable offers so of course the restatement rule common law was that uh, offers were revocable unless uh, there was compensation or consideration paid to hold an offer open, open for a period of time. That was called your option contract. Under the UCC, if an offer is from a merchant in writing, uh, it's irrevocable. That's your merchant's firm offer. Under the CISG, uh, writing is not required, all right? Um, but the offeror must have stated orally, or it could be in writing, just the writing's not required, but uh, must have stated that the offer was irrevocable and the offeree has relied on that statement, all right? In that case, an offer would be irrevocable under the Convention for the International Sale of Goods. Writing requirement, so the UCC statute of fraud, sales of goods $500 or more must be in writing to be enforceable. All right, uh, the CISG does not have the writing requirement. Uh, and the reason being is that uh, culturally, some cultures do not document even very, very complicated, complex business transactions are not, um, documented or written down in some cultures. So when the UN wrote out the CISG, they didn't require a writing. So that doesn't mean you can't use one. It just means you don't have to have one for to have a valid contract. All right. Time of contract performance. Well, UCC used the mailbox rule, which is the same as the restatement that when you accept an offer, if you do so in, in writing, uh, they're effective upon dispatch, which means placed in the mailbox or when you click send on an email or send on a fax or um, ship the documents via UPS or FedEx. Contracts are effective even before they're delivered. All right, that's the UCC rule and also the common law rule. Under the CISG, um, acceptances have to be delivered prior to being effective. And uh, you can think about that. It makes sense if you're talking internationally, uh, international shipping and delivery of messages uh, can be uh, much more complicated than domestic delivery. So 
um, under the CISG, acceptances are effective upon receipt. Last point, uh, scope of coverage. So the UCC, it, it governs goods that are tangible and movable, personal property, right? So that excludes real property, um, but the, in, in addition, it also covers transactions between a business and a consumer. So if you walk into a retail establishment and purchase goods, that transaction is governed by the UCC. All right. Uh, the CISG is narrower in scope. It does not include auction goods, vehicles, planes, ships, negotiable instruments, securities, energy, and consumer goods. And the last one, consumer goods, means that if I buy something from a retailer internationally, I know that the CISG would not be applicable. Now, the question is what law might be applicable um, and really the answer becomes either um, it typically it would be uh, the law where the buyer resides um, or the law where the seller resides and there are several factors that determine which it would be but we do know that it would not be the CISG all right